There are a lot of people who have something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, where the liver accumulates fat and it's not attributable to the consumption of alcohol. Most of the time, these patients do not have any symptoms until it becomes really advanced. There's a real unmet need to identify this population before they get to that advanced point and to be able to use therapeutics so that they do not progress to clinical outcomes. We're trying to solve challenges that are keeping us from providing viable solutions to uh, patients with NASH in a time frame that's actually going to be useful to patients in the near term. The goal of Nimble is to develop an alternative to liver biopsy. We want non-invasive biomarkers that we can use to diagnose and, and monitor treatment in patients. In the drug development space, we need new tools that will allow us to design better clinical trials, clinical trials that are going to be easier for a patient to participate in. Historically, these outcomes could only be ascertained by invasive liver biopsy. This is problematic because although biopsy gives us a lot of tremendous information, biopsy is invasive. In addition, biopsy only samples a very tiny amount of liver. In assessing patients who have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, blood tests play an important role. Now, when a patient comes to see a liver doctor, typically we are performing a routinely available blood tests. Often the circulating markers are the least expensive, and that is very important if we want to scale up uh, the testing, either for public health reasons in order to screen the population, or in the context of a clinical trial in order to screen patients for inclusion in those trials. These tests are so standardizable that when one gets results, it actually tells you exactly with great precision where you are in the disease spectrum. We actually are in a position where today, based on the existing results from Nimble, we can actually reduce the number of biopsies in a lot of our clinical trials. Using imaging biomarkers for assessing uh, outcomes in non-alcoholic steatohepatitis is incredibly important. As part of Nimble, we're looking to validate ultrasound-based and MRI-based imaging biomarkers for NASH. As part of this initiative, we're looking to validate these biomarkers across vendor platforms. And that's going to be particularly important when we're thinking about scaling up these tools into multi-center global clinical trials. It's very important to realize that there are approximately 5 million people, perhaps more, in the United States who have NASH, and virtually all of those people are untreated. Even addressing half or less than half of those patients would have a benefit for millions of patients in the United States alone. We have a lot more confidence going into stage two now with the stage one data than we ever expected. Without initiatives like the FNIH, which bring these type of stakeholders together. This would be very hard to pull off. The Nimble Consortium has pharmaceutical partners, the US FDA, academic experts, and biomarker developers and imaging companies all combining their resources towards answering the goals of Nimble. With the data and evidence generated through Nimble, our hope is that we can qualify these biomarkers through the FDA Biomarker Qualification Program. If we were able to do this with Nimble for NASH, I can see a future where patients can be screened in the office, know if they need to be treated, and where medication can be implemented early and provide for patients the best potential outcomes.